行きましょう頂点へ Hey, we love Bang Dream, or at least I would assume so that you like it because you, well, found this video and are watching it for whatever reason. Hello, why did you make the mistake of clicking on this? Bang Dream is an amazing franchise that originally started in Japan in 2017 and went worldwide in 2018 that grew into something much bigger. With an anime adaptation both in 3D, or well, 2D and then moving over to 3D in Season 2, while that was a bit controversial, it was still really good and enjoyable. I really liked it. Some of my favorite performances are from Season 2. My hands hurt from the claps. That was like the seventh take seven takes and those were loud too ouch it went from just being a mobile game to having a manga adaptation adaptation as well as a beautiful anime series that has multiple seasons to it and doing some crossovers with card games and has done many crossover events with many very well-known franchises like persona 5 i'm still salty i don't have joker ran please bushy road make it happen and make it come back but before you do you need to solve a problem. For much longer than it should have been, there has been an issue that has been causing the game to crash on mobile devices, mainly Android, for the past at least four months. That is pretty bad. And the worst part is, is that it's not even affecting just a little bit of people, it's affecting a large majority of the player base on Android devices. If you were to try to open up Bang Dream Girls Band Party on an Android device, odds are you would get to the main screen, tap it, okay, uh, yep, load in, and then crash. Earlier this week, as of the recording of this video, they just finished an event that was a crossover event with Zombie Land Saga, and this event only lasted for one week. I'm not a big fan of crossover events lasting a very short period of time because people who aren't aware of the event or find out about the event the last minute, only after like two or three days, they lose out significantly and they're not able to participate in the event very much or get a lot of the things they want because they're given such a short period of time. And when it comes to this bug that continually crashes the game before you can even load in, that makes it even worse because I was able to get in on the first, what, day? And then after that it just crashed once and I thought, you know what, I have to go to work anyways, I'll just go ahead and try again later. A few days later, I keep trying to log in, nothing. I can't even log in because it just keeps crashing. And this is a prominent issue because not only are they losing money because of this, but people are flat out considering uninstalling the game. Either way, things are not good right now. Not only are a large portion of their player base not able to play their game, but when you have time-limited events such as the one that they just did with Z uh, Zombieland Saga, which is, by the way, great anime, then you're gonna have people that are both upset, disappointed, and very much so rightfully angry when the updates aren't really fixing the actual issue. Girls Band Party went from a solid near 5 out of 5 stars on the Google Play Store to, let me check it right now, Girls Band Party went from a solid nearly perfect 5 out of 5, like a good, what, 4.7, let's say 4.5, all the way down to 3.7 stars. Now, normally, that wouldn't seem like a lot, but when you have a game that's this well-renowned and holds this high star rating for this long, drop suddenly before the 4.0 mark, that's a pretty big message, and that should say a lot about what's going on and what's wrong with the game. Now, this has been going on for the past three to four months for the majority of your player base on one specific platform. This is pretty much a game-breaking issue that can honestly kill a lot of games. Until this is resolved, it is until this is resolved, it is going to cause a lot of issues and a lot of lost revenue that they are going to unfortunately lose out on. I myself am suffering this issue a lot. I haven't been able to get into the game since that first day of the Zombieland Saga crossover events. It crashes during gameplay, it crashes during interactions, and it crashes for most people flat out on the loading screen. This is game breaking and can in fact kill this game in a very large way. I do believe that it is okay on the Japanese side of things, so there is that. That is good. And people have stated that a good fix is to make a Japanese account or you know, play on a Japanese server using a VPN, but it's sad you would even have to use a VPN just to play a game or keep it from just crashing every single time. Again, this is game breaking, and this is really bad. I don't know how things are going on the Apple product side of things, but on the Android side of things, they are not looking too good right now. And this is not so much as being a, oh, Apple is better, or oh, Android is, it has nothing to do with that. 
it's just about solving a problem that can be a game-breaking issue for the large majority of a fan base on a specific platform, because it is that. That is the problem, and they need to fix it as soon as they can. But I really enjoyed this franchise. I love the characters. They have amazing waifus that are so varied and beautiful in their own different way that you could fill up a Baskin Robbins with them with how many flavors you got. There are a lot, okay? They've only been increasing in numbers for the past four years. But other than that, I actively listen to a lot of their music outside of the game just because it's that good. I wish and I hope that things will get fixed very soon with this game because a lot of people are starting to uninstall it and just leave it behind entirely and that's one of the worst things that can happen to a game when it gets a game-breaking issue, the developer is unable to or refuses to flat out fix it, and the player base slowly just leaves, leaving it to die. It's sad, and I don't want that to see ha and I don't want to see that happen to this game too, as I've seen happen to countless in the past. But that's my take on it. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video or content, then feel free to leave a like and. As for the uh, music or the little uh, gameplay video that played in the beginning and probably has had multiples playing throughout, I thank you for the individual that I grabbed this from. If I did, then it place the channel right here in this area somewhere. Please visit their channel, it will be linked in the description below. And yeah, this is a bit of a newer format for me, I guess you could say. I'm finally using the green screen after having it for so long, it's going to be a lot of fun, and I am going to absolutely suck at getting the keying right. Yo! Yeah, okay, that hands are still tender. Anyways, let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want to become a Squatch King today. Thank you all very much for watching. Really do appreciate it. I am tired. I gotta make some other videos. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, I am Pump Squatch. Goodbye. And I'm out. Later. <laughs> Alright, that's weird enough for me. Let's stop the camera. <laughs>